everyone welcome to our second video tutorial in statistics and probability in today's video we're going to discuss calculating the mean and variance of a discrete random variable so I define muna natin class ano ba yung expected value or mean value the mean is considered as a measure of the central location of a random variable it is the weighted average of the values that random variable x can take with weights provided by the probability distribution. So as you can see here, yung previous knowledge natin on how to construct probability distribution ay magagamit natin sa lesson na ito. Uh, let's have an example. If you roll a fair die several times, what will be the average outcome? Imagine rolling it 6,000 times. You would expect to roll about 1,001s, 1,002s, 1,003s, 1,004s, 1,005s, and 1,006. About 1,000 occurrences of each possible outcome. What would be the average value of the outcomes obtained? Diba class, let's say meron tayong die, fair die. Ibig sabihin, walang daya. Equal yung chances na lalabas yung 1, yung 2, yung 3, yung 4, yung 5, and yung 6. Okay? Ngayon, kung i-roll natin ito ng 6,000 na beses, Ang inexpect natin, um, makakakuha tayo ng 1,000 ones, 1,000 twos, uh, hanggang 1,006. Okay, 1,000 sixes. Okay? So, pag compute natin yung average value ng outcomes na obtain, we're going to use this. So, 1,000 times 1 plus 1,000 times 2 plus 1,000 times 3 plus the quantity of 1,000 times 4 plus the quantity of 1,000 times 5 plus the quantity of 1,000 times 6. Okay, kasi nga, ba sa uh, die, meron tayong anim, anim na faces, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? All over 6,000. Ito yung uh, number of times na iro-roll natin yung fair die. So, kapag kinompute natin, we'll get 3.5. So, although class, yung 3.5 na yan, hindi natin yan makikita sa isang face ng die, kasi diba, ang nakikita natin doon, 1 dot, 2 dots, 3 dots, 4 dots, 5 dots, 6 dots, this 3.5 here only implies the weighted average of the six possible outcomes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, with weights provided by the relative frequencies. Okay, so yun yung mean. Uh, the expected value or mean value of a discrete random variable x can be computed by first multiplying each possible x value by the probability of observing that value and then adding the resulting quantities. So, symbolically, E of x is equal to mu sub x. So, ito yung symbol natin uh, for population mean is equal to x sub 1 times P of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 times P of x sub 2 up to x sub n times p of x sub n. Or, equal yan sa summation of x times p of x. So, we're going to use this formula in finding the mean okay, of a discrete random variable x. Yan. So, let's have an example para mas klaro. The probability is that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 items in a grocery store are 3 over 10, 1 over 10. 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 3 over 10, respectively. So, what is the no average number of items that a customer will buy? Compute the variance and standard deviation of the probability distribution. Ayan, so, sa grocery store daw, ang um, isang customer, ang probability ng isang customer ay bibili ng isang item ay 3 over 10, dalawang items 1 over 10, 3 items 1 over 10, 4 items 2 over 10, and lastly, 5 items ay 3 over 10. So, pinahanap sa atin yung mean, pinakocompute din sa atin yung variance and standard deviation. Ayan. So, let's have the following steps. Let's follow the following uh, steps in computing the mean. So first, construct the probability distribution for the random variable x representing the number of items that a customer will buy. Second, I'll multiply the value of the random variable x by the corresponding probability. And lastly, we're going to add the results obtained in step 2. So para mas maliwanag, class, um, sundan natin tong steps na to sa pag-solve ng, pag-compute ng mean doon sa problem natin kanina. Ayan. Yeah, so again, given na sa atin yung number of items, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
binigay na rin sa atin yung corresponding probability ng bawat isa. Okay? So, ito yan. 3 over 10, 4, 1. 2 items, 1 over 10. Uh, 3 items, 1 over 10. 4 items, 2 over 10. And 5 items, 3 over 10. Ngayon, ang pinagagawa sa atin first is to multiply x uh, and p of x. So, multiply natin si x sa p of x. So, yan. x times p of x. So, for the first one, we have here 1 times 3 over 10. So, tandaan natin, ako meron tayong whole number dito, ang denominator niyan is 1. Diba? So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng fractions, numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So, 1 times 3 ay 3. Denominator nito is 1. So, 1 times 10 ay 10. So, we have here 3 over 10. For the next one, 2 times 1 over 10 is of course 2 over 10. Ayan, so pwede nyo i-post yung video class and then sagutan nyo yung remaining cells, uh, yung re remaining entries, tingnan natin kung pareho tayo ng answer. Okay, so for the third one, we'll get 3 over 10. For the fourth one, 8 over 10. Ano kasi? 4 times 2 over 10. So 4 times 2, we have 8. Denominator ni 4 dito is 1. So 1 times 10 ay 10. So 8 over 10. And lastly, 5 times 3 over 10 is equal to 15 over 10. Actually, class, kaya natin itong uh, yung 2 over 10, yung 8 over 10, 15 over 10. We can actually get uh, its lowest term. Pero, hindi ko na nilagay dito, class, kasi yung next step natin, i-add natin lahat ng results. Ito, yung lahat na nakuha natin na x times p of x, i-add natin yan. And since, um, para mas madaling i-add, hindi ko na ini lowest term para pare-pareho agad yung denominator nito ng results natin. ba? So, uh, similar fractions sila kasi pare-pareho yung denominator. And when adding similar fractions, i-add lang natin lahat ng numerator and then yung denominator ko kopyahin lang. So, in this case, pag in natin itong 3 over 10 2 plus 2 over 10 plus 3 over 10 plus 8 over 10 plus 15 over 10, so we will get um, 3 plus 2 ay 5. Plus 3, 8. Plus 8, 16. Plus 15, 31. Copy the denominator na 10. So, ang summation nan is 31 over 10. So, the summation of x times p of x is equal to 31 over 10. In decimal form, 31 divided by 10, it will give us 3.1. Hence, the average number of items that a customer will buy is 3.1. Okay, so again, ito ay ano lang, um, theoretical lang, ano, Though, hindi naman talaga tayo... Wala naman talaga number of items na 3.1. So, we just get uh, the weighted average of these five outcomes, possible outcomes, with weights provided by the relative fre frequencies. Okay? Next. And so, let's proceed to the variance of a discrete random variable x. The variance of a random variable displays the variability or the dispersions of the random variables. It shows the distance of a random variable from its mean. It is denoted by sigma squared sub x. Ito yung ating uh, symbol for variance. It is computed by first subtracting the mean from the, each possible x value to obtain the deviations, then squaring each deviation and multiplying the result by the probability of the corresponding x value and then finally adding these quantities. So, ito class, yung mismong steps na susundan natin mamaya. Okay? Ayan. So, if x is a random variable with mean e of x is equal to mu sub x, then the variance of x is defined by Variance of x is equal to sigma squared sub x is equal to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared times p of x. So, ito class yung iisa-isahin natin mamaya. Ngayon, pagkukumpitin natin yung standard deviation, ang symbol naman for that is sigma sub x equal naman yun sa square root of the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared times p of x. So, again, ito ay standard deviation. Kukunin lang natin yung square root ng variance. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So, bago tayo dumako sa steps class, ito yung tatandaan natin. Um, small variance or standard deviation means that the assumed values or data points tend to be very close to the mean. While the higher variance or standard deviation means that the assumed values or data points are spread out from the mean. Diba? Kaya nga ang variance ay measure of uh, variability. Ano? 
Specifically, the variance and standard deviation measures or describes how far a set of data, assumed values of random variables, is spread out. Okay? Sige. So, putahan na natin yung ating steps. Kung paano tayo mag-compute ng variance. So, first, uh, we're going to find the mean of the probability distribution. Nagawa na natin to kanina. Next. Subtract the mean from each value of the random variable x. Third, square the results obtained in step 2. Fourth, multiply the results obtained in step 3 by the corresponding probability. Get the sum of the results obtained in step 4. Okay, so sunod-sunod lang naman ito, kumbaga procedural. If you follow these steps, um, we'll uh, get the variance. And kapag in root natin yung nakuha nating results sa variance, makukuha naman natin ang standard deviation. Okay, isa-isahin natin class. Ayan. So, again, ito yung problem kanina. Nakuha na natin yung mean a while ago. Ano? So, nakuha natin mean ay 3.1. So, sundan natin yung steps sa pagkuha ng variance. So, una, x minus mu. So, yung number of items na x, ibabawas, minus natin doon yung ating mean na nakompute kanina. So, for the first one, so 1 minus 3.1 it will give us negative 2.1. For the next one, 2 minus 3.1, it will give us negative 1.1. So, kagaya kanina, you may pause this video and then isolve nyo muna before proceeding. Tina natin if, we're, uh, if pareho yung sagot natin. Okay? So, for the third entry, we have negative 0 0.1, 3 minus 3.1. Next, 4 minus 3.1, 0 0.9. And then, 5 minus 3.1, we have 1.9. For the second column, e square naman natin yung results kanina the sa previous column. So we're uh, we're going to compute for the quantity of x minus mu squared. Okay, so yung result na kanina kukunin lang natin yung square. So for the first one, we have the quantity uh, negative two point one. Quantity of negative two point one squared equal yung sa four point forty one. So, in essence, minultiply lang natin yung negative 2.1 sa sarili niya. So, negative 2.1 times negative 2.1 equal yan sa 4.41. Next. Ayan. Quantity of negative 1.1 squared equals sa 1.21. Quantity of negative 0.1 squared equals sa 0 0.01. Ayan. 0 0.9 squared, we have here 0 0.81. And then lastly, 1.9 squared equal yan sa 3.61. Okay? And then for the last column... Yung nakuha natin sagot dito, i-multiply naman natin sa p of x. So the quantity of x minus mu squared times p of x. So for the first one, 4.41 times 3 over 10. Ayan, so pwedeng 4.41 times 3, yung answer natin, and then i-divide natin sa 10 yung sagot. So ang makukuha natin for the first one, 1.323. For the second one, 1.21 times 1 over 10. Equal yan sa 0 0.121. Next, 0 0.01 times 1 over 10. Equal yan sa 0 0.001. Next, 0 0.81 times 2 over 10. It will give us 0 0.162. And then for the last one, 3.61 times 3 over 10. It will give us 1.083. Ayan. So, for the last step, para makuha natin yung variance, ia-add lang natin ito, itong results sa last column. So, sigma squared sub x, o yung ating variance, is equal, again, to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared times p of x. Ia-add lang natin ito. Itong nakuha nating answer sa last column. So, ang variance natin ay 2.69. Okay? So, again, in-add lang ito. Okay? So, sana nakakasunod pa tayo. Ayan. So, next step. Compute naman natin yung standard deviation. So, in computing the standard deviation, kukunin lang natin yung square root nitong variance. So, square root of 2.69 ay 1.64012194 or 1.64. Kuya round off natin to two decimal places. So again, para makompute ang standard deviation, square root lang ng variance. Hence, the variance is 2.69 and the standard deviation is 1.64. So kung two decimal places lang, kung mag-round off tayo to two decimal places, okay na yung 1.64. Okay? 
Ayan. So, sana nakasusunod tayo. Ayan. So, let's proceed. Ayan. So, we have an alternative solution in finding the variance. So, pwede natin gamitin ito or yung kanina will still arrive on the same answer. So, una, unang step, find the mean of the probability distribution. Multiply the square of the value of the random variable x by its corresponding probability. We're going to get the sum of the results obtained in step 2. We're going to subtract the square of the mean from the results obtained in step 3. Ayan. So, ito yung alternative solution. So, in symbols, uh, sigma squared sub x is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared. Okay? So, yan yung para sa variance. And in computing the standard deviation, again, kunin lang natin yung square root ng variance na na-compute natin. So, ang standard deviation ang formula ay sigma sub x is equal to the square root of the summation of x squared times p of x minus mu squared. So, again, we can use this. Uh, we can follow these steps in finding the variance and standard deviation or pwede naman yung ginawa natin sa example kanina. We'll still arrive on the same answer. And, yeah, for practice, you can try this. You can try answering this, students. So, the number of cars sold per day at the local car dealership along with its uh, corresponding probabilities is shown in the succeeding table. What is the average number of cars sold per day? Compute the variance and the standard deviation of the probability distribution by following the steps discussed. Ayan. So, given this, itong mga info, yung mga data natin dito, class, sige nga, for practice, pwede yung subukan na isolve yung, uh, yung mean and then yung variance tsaka yung standard deviation. Okay. So that's it. Um, here's the list of references used in creating or in crafting this uh, video, uh, this video tutorial. So sana ay mayroon tayong bagong kaalaman na natutunan. And with that, it's the end of our second video. And thank you all for watching. Bye!